almost killed everyone in this city. I swear to God, it's the first thing I think of every morning. So thirsty. Looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown and he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that.
Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. They deserve. They will die. Got it. Jack, I'm the warning water you. is safe. Bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. We can't fight everything. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop, or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over and to leave the city safely. I help me and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone! I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance! Fucking listen to me for once! Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar! After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. 
been setting a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The Pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now. Goodbye, Bizarre. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You... you did this? You pay for that. Regretting coming here, huh? <laughs> So what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. Infected. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout on the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe.
Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. a pigsty. <laughs> that ain't no proof. <clears throat> Here's something. Hey, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Norris. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is we didn't a little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> here for fuck's sake are you nuts he's he's setting us up this fucking pilgrim is framing us what is he talking about aiden i found the proof hidden among your things proof o of what you cut the tattoo from commander lucas's arm after his death or when he was still alive you're out of your mind i didn't do it maybe you didn't but your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No, but you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skim Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes, and we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. 
That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sophie, come to the bazaar. We're having a powwow. You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. attention to them anymore. Boy, him. What you need, buddy? We have a deal. Thanks, buddy. Just what I need. Madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie! What the- Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory. Provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. And you, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. 
Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Fierstein! Peter shows a great protection! This is top craftsmanship, made from the finest quality materials. Built from. Ah! Ah! Uh oh, I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> Titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter. And better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Call agreed? Call agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you... <sighs> have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the past chemical fallout, uh, and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop? The central loop, right! How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, you win? Okay, so the windmill powers all the PKs' UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Ah! Ah! Damn it! Took, took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Ator can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Matt, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again, and you will go to the center. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay, go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. Finally put our plan into action. I'm no PK fan, but if we're covering the skin of the man,
PKs. They've been searching us for weapons. Found our Molotovs and went ape shit, slaughtering everyone in sight. Looks like someone set us up. Who? And where are the bombs for Alberto? We managed to send some out. The couriers last reported near Star Square. Then silence. And Alberto, the charges are gone. I'm going to the Star Square. That was their last check-in. Oh. Oh, my. Exactly. Ethan. Yeah. Be careful. Someone sold us out. Find the, the charges. Without them, the plan. PKs ambushed your transport. He searched everyone and everything. Eventually, they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything? Dunno. Suddenly, something scared them off. The what? Where are the charges? Hey! Um, they were in the yard. Come on. Maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few, the infected showed up. Everyone scattered. Probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. <laughs>
Here I come. Then we can make more explosives. The old night runners, they've got everything. And certainly all we need to make more boats. I know a guy lives on a road. Friend, a foe, it depends. Killian, you know him. Where Hakon's friend, Killian? Yes, Killian. I'll explain how to. how to. Uh, add. Another way, thanks. You said that you know where Killian lives. I'm no big man, but whoever carved the skin off that criminal. 
commander was a certified psycho. Watch yourself, you hear? Killian! Killian! It's Aiden! Hakon. Back then, every bingo. Alberto, I have your fertilizer. It's Vincenzo. Vincenzo? I, I can barely hear you. The PKs. They raided my place. I can't talk. The traitor sold us all out. Hayden and Dad went ahead to the windmill. Meet him there. I'll meet you when I can. Just make sure that fertilizer gets to my dad. Okay, I'll do my best. Just come quick. They're still after me. I'm beaten down, Hayden. Another patrol. You have to do it without me. Join my dad. I'll be on the radio the whole time. Me and your dad? You think that's a good idea? We have no choice, Aiden. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. I'll stay with you on the radio. Hello? Vincenzo? Hello? Fuck me. People were all hurry. Run, you fucking serious. You can't be you kidding me. Vincenzo, I, I can't hear you. Look, look, you have to... What? What do I have to do?
fertilizer. You sure you got this? Of course I'm sure. And if I don't know something, I can ask Vincenzo. Ah, the windmill's causing too much interference. The radio doesn't work. Ah. Then I'll figure it out myself. It's as easy as I. And you're certain? He explained everything to me. Relax. We'll do... Me and you will do... <laughs> no reason we won't do just... And Fine. Like I said, easy as pie. The bombs are ready. You're up. Take the charges and secure them to the spots Vincenzo marked for us. Planting bombs. Oh, what could go wrong? Easy as pie, right? Yes, precisely. Like I said, easy as pie. 